Buddhism and Tibetan Buddhism especially has nourished nourish my own creativity for sure. And I think that can be the same for anybody else because through the, the visualization practice and the meditation, it teaches you through the practice you know, how to um, expand the mind. We're not just um, am led to believe that our mind is our brain in our head, you know. We are lulled into this sort of sense that we are just here because we smell, see, taste, hear. There's an awful lot going on up there, you know, and we're supposed to think there as well. But we feel our whole body, we feel here. And I think, I think in, in many ways, if we become too heady, and, and lack of inspiration and lack of magic in the in the world, lack of this this uh, sacred view of things, we become just a, a bit too brain, flesh, and blood, and and kind of stuck just here. But by doing the practice, I mean, for example, if we do Avalokiteshvara Chenrezig practice, you know, we visualize ourselves as Chenrezig. But we don't have two arms, we have four arms. I mean, that's breaking the code straight away, you know. We have white skin, you know. That isn't, that isn't even solid, you know. It's, it's like rainbow light, you know. So that's, that's dissolving our, our solid way that we see the world and we, we, we experience things. So the, this, the, the Dharma practice in that way, meditation practice that... Tibetan Buddhism can provide really helps us break those conditions. You know, it's a condition breaker. That's what it is. You know, and by doing it again and again and again, we are again putting ourselves in touch with something more divine and, and sacred. I remember walking once along the road back to the monastery, and I met, um, we say, Uncle Sherab. Sherrod Peldon, who's the artist, and I met him on the road. And um, it, was a, it was a bit of a dull day. He wasn't particularly inspiring. And he went, oh, oh, look, L -l look at the, the clouds. He said, nice, pink, pink. He said, oh, green and oh, blue, like that. For me at the time, I thought, oh, just a grey day, you know. But then when I really looked, you know, I looked with his eyes, he pointed something out to me. There was a lot of colour there, you know. And it's just like how they paint the clouds in, in the tanker painting. They have this pink hue, or this yellow hue, these sort of rainbow colours within the cloud. And that was his view. That's the way he saw the world. So he, he introduced me to that, this sacred view of, of things. He livened things up, you know. He made things more magical, more, more, more interesting. Um, and I think that helped with creativity and to, to bridge, bridge that gap.